Welcome! You are watching the Straight Beer News. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and today we're talking about a private Indiana club that decided to illegally serve Yingling beer. So it has been in the news recently, uh, however, if you're not from Indiana, it may not pertain to you, you may not even know about it, may not even care. But Yingling has announced that they will be distributing into Indiana in the very near future. And so, in advance of this, uh, news has gone out, people are kind of excited. Yingling is a, is a beer that's relatively inexpensive, but yet has a large following. A lot, a lot of people like it. And in one particular Indiana private club, they, the, the owners and some of the members like it a lot. In fact, so one of them found it while vacationing and liked it so much that they would buy cases of it. Um, bring it across state borders into their club so that they could sell it there and so the members could benefit from having Yingling which apparently they liked and continued to, to do this uh, time after time crossing the border getting some Yingling from a neighboring state bringing it back and selling it in the club where things went wrong was when one of the club members um, was offended and what that person did was um, knowing that the the process of getting this yingling was illegal at least uh, premature since it hasn't been um, distributed there yet legally into Indiana uh, and knowing that this wasn't through proper legal distribution channels uh, went and told the authorities and so police came in and busted them for selling yingling uh, which was illegally brought over the border and brought into their club. There's a lot you could say about the stupid regulations um, around beer. Each state has their own peculiarities and it's kind of obnoxious and the interstate crossings the regulations are, are, and laws are really kind of dumb. However, at the same time, this particular individual that would go and snitch is really dumb as well. There's so much stupidity going on in this story. I guess, first of all, why would you even sell the beer illegally? Second, knowing that it's illegal. Second, why would this person feel so slighted and so spurned that they would go and tell authorities and rat out this club? Um, that in its own turn is really kind of uh, childish and immature. The main reason, though, that I wanted to share this story, since it really doesn't pertain to anyone outside of Indiana, or really even outside of this particular uh, private club, is for the yingling jokes. I mean, come on, a, a private club serving yingling prematurely? What did, and when they got busted, and what, did, what was their defense to the cops? There's, there's nothing to see here. It's just a little yingling. Or I, I hope that... The, the authorities don't come down too hard on them. The, 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 the jokes and the puns with premature and yingling and a little amount, it's, it's just, it was just too much for me to not to, to pass on. So I, I'm sure you have, you can come up with other kinds of jokes and puns on, on these words. And if you can, if you have any, leave them in the description and in the comment section below. I'd, I'd love to have a chuckle at what you come up with. So give me, uh, give me your best yingling, premature, small amount, little, kind of a pun plan words that you can. And uh, uh, I I'd love to get a laugh at it. So leave me what you can in the description in the comments below. All right, guys, that'll do it for me this time. Thank you so much again for watching. I am Chris Hardy, and this has been the Straight Beer News. You can follow me on social media if you're so inclined. I, you can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Untapped. If you're interested in what I'm drinking, you can follow me there. All those uh, places, the instructions and the usernames are in the description of this video, so you can find me through those uh, through that way. Uh, also, if you could, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I'd appreciate hearing from you, hearing positive feedback. Also, if you could, please subscribe. If you want to stay up to date on the news that I'm giving and uh, keeping you up to date on so that you don't ever miss an episode, click that subscribe button. And that'll be it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Take care.